All right, everyone, RTA back at it again here. So we're gonna do a little uh, consumer reporting for you guys here tonight. I've got a sneaking suspicion that my initial suspicion was wrong. So we've got a 26 foot in length Hallmark car trailer here. I've got a 24 foot V nose. This one has the flat front end, rounded edges, and has the rounded uh, roof cap on it. We're gonna top off the Escalade here with 93 octane. I'm gonna top it off. We've got the tires in the Escalade aired up to 45 pounds. Got 60 pounds in the trailer tires. It's a 2012 Platinum, so we've got the 6.2 long wheelbase. And uh, tires are aired up to just under about five pounds under maximum for the uh, vehicle tires and about the same for the trailer. Uh, they might be 80 PSI trailer tires, but they've got 60 in them, so we're going to go with that. My trailer has 60 in them as well. So we're going to take this thing on about a 40 mile uh, round trip. It's pretty much flat road out here. Um, we're going to go down uh, Route 15 towards Gettysburg for my house, and uh, it's a good flat road. Uh, the speed limit fluctuates between 55 and 65. We're going to set the cruise control at 55, and then when we get into the 65 zone, we're going to set it at 65. I'm, I'm not trying to check different speeds. We're just going to do wherever the speed limit on the road increases or decreases. We're going to do that speed limit. That way I can keep it consistent. Um, but we're gonna trailer with this, and then we're gonna come back. All right, so that was the second click, so we're gonna go there. So to top it off, took 10.7 gallons. But the real number is gonna be when we get back to the gas pump. I'll use this end pump here again. And yeah, we'll take the receipt so we remember everything. Um, but I've got a real sneaking suspicion here because I towed this down the road the other day to go wash this trailer. And I've got a real sneaking suspicion that I think the rounded roof cap with the rounded sides might actually tow better and easier than my V-Nose trailer. So we're about to find out. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. All right. Let's top. Let's reset all the economy and the trip meter. Set the trip meter. That's our range at the moment, but we're about to reset. All right. Reset average economy, reset fuel used. All right. So I'll get back with you guys here in a minute when we hit the road and start driving, and we'll uh, see about halfway in uh, what the uh, vehicle is saying we're getting for fuel economy. And then when we get back here, we'll top it back off and see what we really got. And then we'll go get the other trailer. All right. Catch you guys in a little bit. All right, everyone. So we've got the 26-foot uh, uh, flat-nosed trailer, if you will, uh, behind us right now. And uh, we just did the turnaround on our trip. It was 21 miles up to the exit uh, where we turned around. So we're on the way back now. And... Uh, got the trip meter here we're at 22 miles we've got we're averaging nine miles a gallon right now we've got the cruise set at uh, 65 mile an hour and according to this we've used uh, 2.5 and we're just set up on cruise control and just riding on cruise so whatever it wants to do is what we're doing Trans temp is good. We're in tow haul mode. We'll be in tow haul mode for both of these uh, trips. And 
and down the road we go. Um, from personal experience, so far this trailer, the dog wants to say hi. Say hi, Harley. Get back. Um, so far from personal experience, sorry about that, the dog got in the way. This trailer seems to be towing a little bit easier than mine. Um, it just seems, it just seems like it doesn't have the wind resistance that my V-nose does. And I can't quite understand that, honestly. Um, it seems like the V-nose should definitely break the, uh, the air better. But maybe the way the wind travels up over the vehicle, I, I don't know. Uh, I used this vehicle one time to run over to uh, Philadelphia and back. It was 90 miles one way. I used an entire tank of gas towing an empty trailer uh, just to get over to Philly. It, it was, well, it was about half a tank of gas over, but I had to fill up on the way back. And a uh, round trip, it, it, was, it was less than 150 miles, I believe, uh, from where I went to where I dropped off the vehicle I was towing. And it was crazy how uh, the fuel economy was. This thing was averaging uh, four and a half miles a gallon. My dually big block truck gets better than four and a half miles a gallon towing. Um, so this thing should be very susceptible to uh, fuel economy, uh, six speed trans and everything. And with the cruise control set on a pretty much flat road, I'm hoping to get a pretty good outcome here and uh, be able to see where we're at. on 25 miles now yep we're still averaging nine miles a gallon so so far uh, I think we're doing pretty good but obviously time will tell when we hook up the other trailer and see where we're really at so all right I'll touch back base with you guys here in a little bit as soon as I get back to the gas station catch you then all right, we're back to the gas station where we started the trip economy meter says 9.3 used 4.5 gallons and we went 42 miles so we're going to whip back into the gas station here just waiting for the red light and we're going to top it off and we're going to see what it gets and then we will continue this with the v nose trailer and see where we're at all right everyone moment of truth how much is it going to take? Trip economy meters said 4.5. Oh, I hear it coming up. Ho, ho, ho. Boy, the economy gauge is, uh, is pretty much freaking dead on on that trip. So 42.1 divided by, it took uh, 4.397, came out to 9.5. This said, well, it did say 9.3 when we first stopped at the light, but now 9.2. So, we actually got better fuel economy than what the trip meter said. We used just a little bit less gas than what the trip meter said. So, uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed. 9.5 miles a gallon um, on that trip. I don't think that was, uh, I don't think that was too terrible, honestly. Um, you know, like I said, I just ran exactly at the speed limit. The speed limit was 55 out of town. I, I got up the speed, set the cruise control um, right at 55. And then when uh, it went up to 65, I set the cruise right on at 65. I'm trying to back out of the gas station here. Don't mind me. Uh, I've got a piece of construction equipment here it's sitting in front of me that I'm trying not to run over. But uh, I 
yeah, not too bad. So I'm gonna go back, get the uh, other trailer, and we'll let you guys know how that does. All right, everyone. We now have the Venus trailer attached. Didn't take very much. That was just from uh, here down to my house. But uh, we'll top it back off here in a minute. <clears throat> so, anyways, got the Vino's a trailer attached. They're the same height. Uh, this one's actually two foot shorter. It's a 24 foot instead of a 26. But uh, other than that, everything's the same on them. Um, the black trailer is actually a little bit heavier. So, it should be a fairly good comparison if my theory is right. Um, I mean, this thing looks like it should be aerodynamic, but I'm thinking the top of it's just just killing it with that flat top. Um, so yeah, maybe if you could curl the top of this trailer back and keep it V'd, I, I don't know, but the corners are, are more squared off. So we'll see. All right, we've reset everything and back on the road we go. All right, everyone, we're about three miles away from the turnaround point. But so far, my suspicions are correct. Uh, we are getting worse fuel economy pulling the smaller, lighter uh, Vino's trailer than we were with the longer uh, flat nose trailer with the rounded roof. So, yeah, I mean, as you can see, we're turning a higher RPM to maintain the same speed as the other trailer and we're only averaging eight miles a gallon up to the halfway point uh the other vehicle we or the other trailer we were already up over nine uh before we did the turnaround so yeah i believe that my suspicions are correct that the venus trailer actually gets worse fuel economy um not by a substantial margin but if it's a mile a gallon mile down and a little bit I mean, it makes a big difference on a, you know, six, seven, eight, nine hundred mile trip. Uh, you know, it could be as much as maybe two miles a gallon here by the time we get done. Uh, we'll have to test it because uh, the pump was actually uh, a little bit in the favor of the economy gauge. So, anyways, keep you posted here on the way back and uh, see what we get. All right, everyone. So we just got done doing our run again. 41.7 miles <laughs> Very uh, unexpected result or actually I guess it is the result I expected which is why I was doing the test in the first place um, Yeah, down to 7.8 miles a gallon um, Showing on the trip meter when we pulled in here the last time with the uh, trailer with the flat front end and the rounded off roof uh, the Escalade was saying 9.3 but it actually came out when we ran the math to 9.5 this is saying 7.8 so i'm thinking we are at least an entire mile a gallon off if not a little bit more um which is uh it is a slightly shocking result being that this should be a lighter trailer it's a 24 foot there's a little tool storage area in the front but the other trailer had an actual snap-on toolbox inside of it it has front shelving it's got some tires and wheels inside of it on a rack um, it has a couple racks it had some fuel jugs and it's a two foot longer trailer so if anything this was the smaller lighter trailer they're both the same height so that that doesn't really play a factor in that one was getting more air resistance than the other it's literally just the front of the trailer catching the wind and it not breaking over the roof of the trailer cleanly i suppose so anyway it's gonna get out here fill this thing up i'll bring the receipt in and we'll see uh where we're at uh when it's topped off but uh yeah not looking good for the vinos so um yeah we'll see here in a minute how bad it actually was all right everyone so just got done from uh, comparing the two trailers. One was a Hallmark 26 foot um, flat front end, but it had a dome uh, cap on the front of it. So the front of the trailer was slightly rounded at the roof 
and the sides also had caps on them so the sides were rounded against my 24 foot synergy vino's trailer but the top of the trailer is just squared off the sides are squared off nothing is rounded except for the v on the front has it's kind of a, a round shape but we just did a uh, 42 mile loop uh, the first time I had 42.1, this time I had 41.8, but I used that for both of them, so the numbers were exactly uh, equal. Uh, I didn't use uh, the same distance. I used uh, the exact distance driven. The Hallmark trailer with the flat front end got 9.7 or I'm sorry, 9.57 miles per gallon. And the Vino's trailer got 8.1 miles per gallon. So the cost difference between the two was only $2.50. That was a 40 mile trip, $2.50, nobody cares, you're going 40 miles. But I did the math back here on the back of these receipts for us. <clears throat> I figure I roughly use this trailer about 10,000 miles a year. So if we do 10,000 miles, this trailer getting 8 miles a gallon with this vehicle obviously now, uh, you know, can't use other variables here, would use uh, 1,234 gallons cost me just shy of four thousand dollars thirty nine forty nine okay that number here will come into play in a second the hallmark trailer with the flat front end will only cost or will only use a thousand gallons so um, 200 gallons less at a cost of three thousand three hundred and forty two dollars so it will save me six hundred and seven dollars versus the synergy trailer will increase my cost to operate six hundred and seven dollars obviously so six hundred and seven dollars is still not the end of the world the trailers are basically you know this trailer could have come multiple ways i could have gotten the flat front end on it i but I optioned for the, the V-Nose thinking that it was a more fuel efficient, more aerodynamic setup. Obviously, I have now learned that is vastly not true. Uh, the V-Nose does nothing for aerodynamics. It actually hurts it. Um, not what I was expecting at all when I bought the trailer. But I noticed from towing the previous trailer, which was a 22 foot, uh, with a, a rounded off uh, top cap on the roof, but a flat front end, I pretty much immediately noticed that this trailer pulled like it was a heavier trailer, and, and it isn't. It's not a heavier trailer, um, especially not over the 26-foot hallmark. Um, so I knew something was going on, and I normally tow with my, my dually truck with a big block in it, and that's kind of hard to tell fuel economy because that truck just lumbers along. It's only a four-speed trans. This is a six-speed transmission. This is where I noticed it more was with this truck because the RPM hangs high at 65 miles an hour. Um, pulling this trailer, where the other night when I towed the black trailer for the first time with this, the RPMs were not as high. So that was my dead giveaway that this trailer has a lot more drag um, while going down the highway at speed because it stays in fourth gear instead of upshifting a, a while into fifth gear. I use tow haul mode for both comparisons. So cruise control, tow haul mode. I only had to hit the brakes on each run uh, just at the exits um, and to stop to turn back into the gas station. It's 11 o'clock at night here on a pretty desolate section of road um so yeah very interesting result so yeah if anyone is uh looking to buy a new trailer um if you could get a really good deal and save yourself a couple hundred dollars a thousand dollars on a v nose 
I wouldn't be afraid to buy it. And obviously your results will vary if you're towing with a heavier duty diesel truck potentially, or even a lighter weight truck. You know, this has got the 6.2 in it. If you're towing with something with a 5.3 in it, these results might be even worse with a smaller motor because it will work even harder than this motor. So either way, I certainly wouldn't go looking for a Vino's trailer after these results, that's for sure. Um, but for the difference of cost of $600 over 10,000 miles driven at the, the, the gas prices here at this station anyways, it's probably not worth selling the trailer and buying another new one. Um, but it certainly is something to consider if you're in the market shopping for a trailer. So anyways, hope this was, uh, you know, helpful to somebody. I know it would have been helpful to me before I had custom ordered a trailer with a V-nose. Because uh, obviously if I'd have had the option, uh, which I did, I would not have gotten this now knowing what I know. But anyways, it's not too often you have two trailers sitting side by side to compare uh, and take them on a towing test. Everyone always worries about what the truck gets, fuel economy wise, but nobody actually thinks what the trailer might do to your fuel economy, um, given the truck you already have. So anyways, hope this was helpful. Until next time, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And this is RTA, and I'm out.